If you were to find an old calendar, strap it to a hospital bed, tied down by its weekends, C-section the belly of 1999, there you'll find a teenage version of me. Back when I was a tsunami of awkward moments splashing against the shoreline called Rochelle Moss. A young lady who introduced my jaw to the floor whenever she floated into our first period classroom, this girl. She was a dandelion seed straddling a wish, a dream I never thought would turn flesh and grin, but wire hangers like me, let's just say we don't become captain of the football team. The only thing that we seem to be good at is stopping ourselves from saying I like you to a girl that holds the remote control to our smiles. We are blurry silhouettes against the backdrop of everything popular, often wearing our skin like a costume of someone we didn't feel comfortable pretending to be anyways. We swallow earthquakes, and then we tremble at the smell of perfume. We are bashful, we are tongue-tied, we are nervous in high definition. So the question is, if a boy falls for a girl that's out of his league and there's no one around to hear him, does he make a sound? The answer is hell, and the first two letters of nothing. When I was a senior in high school, I was a pocket full of chalk dust. I was elevator music on a CD that stuttered like a Volkswagen with a really bad transmission. At this age I was a ballot box stuffed full of everyone's opinions except for my own. My swagger was like watching a Walkman trying to swallow a DVD. <laughs> At this age, I walked as if I was concerned with how the ground would feel about my footsteps. And if I could just find a way to write a letter to that boy, that old sweater with itchy sleeves that I will someday grow out of, I would say, I would say there'll be days when you feel like a peacock without feathers. You'll feel flightless and undeserving of attention. But listen, you have to stop getting out of bed like you're an oil spill. You're not a flat tire at 2 a.m., so stop acting like an accident, Rudy. You're not an accident, Rudy. You're an apple on a pine tree in a room full of lemons. And you come from a long line of Swiss Army pocket knives, men who are small, sharp, and dangerous when not handled carefully. Some days, I wish that my arms were 12 years long so I could reach all the way back there, grab you by the chest, punch you, and say, listen, you are the main character in a movie that I watch every time I see the inside of my eyelids. I told myself that I wouldn't spoil the ending, but I will tell you this, your story starts off really slow. <laughs> but it does get better. You don't have to believe me. Someday you'll see for yourself. And when you see Rochelle Moss at the senior prom, ignore the washing machine in your stomach. Tell her that she looks beautiful tonight. Extend your arm like a drawbridge to a castle no one has visited in years. Say to her, will you dance with me? She says yes. Thank you. That's my time.